hello guys welcome to the 10th video tutorial on as400 and in this video we'll see about the work active job command and work, what what a job actually is and how it is submitted as well as where you can check the cpu consumption of a job so first things first what jobs are in as400 a job is a piece of work that is done in on as400 what are the types of jobs that can be divided into AS400? So jobs can be divided in two parts in AS400, the system jobs and the user jobs. System jobs are the jobs that uh, generates pool files. Whereas user jobs are jobs like interactive jobs, bad jobs, communication jobs and auto start jobs. So let's uh, uh, type the command as work active jobs. And when you hit enter on this command, you can see that it shows a menu of work active jobs. So currently the number of active jobs which are shown on the screen are 243. So this thing which you can see here, these are the names of the subsystems that are uh, currently active on AS400. And uh, the indented, the system load inside this hash system load shows that this, syst uh, this subsystem is, in, uh, this is a part of this hash subsystem. The name of the current user that you can see here shows the uh, shows the name of the user who have submitted the job in this uh, job queues like for example we have this uh, job queue queue batch that are submitted in the uh, job queues like queue batch queue enter etc etc this types of job are the subsystem jobs they are the auto start jobs they are the batch jobs as well as batch interactive jobs now this part shows the cpu consumption so sometimes it happens that uh, some jobs take uh, a heavy load in the CPU consumption and therefore the system gets slower. So for that what you can do is that you can write the work active jobs command and just press F4 and uh, then you can press F10 for additional parameters and here you can see that CPU percent limit. So here you can type uh, the name of the batch first of all uh, the name of the job queue like uh, I'll type uh, the job queue like queue enter okay and uh, here I can type the CPU percentage like uh, if I want to check which kind of jobs are taking uh, uh, the CPU consumption which is greater than 20% so I'll write 20 and I'll press enter so you can see that there are no such kind of jobs that uh, are taking more than 20% but uh, if we press F9 and if we remove this 20% uh, so you can see that inside queue enters there are some uh, some smaller subsystems and these are the submitted jobs uh, that are the, that is the subsystem job as the, as well as there are two interactive jobs as well as one batch interactive jobs so you can see that our our uh, function command that is the work active job is also shown in this function command and uh, that lies inside the subsystem qpad uh, 151147 and it is showing in running state so if uh, you can uh, you can just uh, hold any kind of uh, job here by pressing 3 so if you want to check out uh, a particular uh, queue like uh, if you want to check out the jobs that are submitted inside a particular queue so you can uh, write uh, work job queue uh, queue enter so you can see that there are uh, currently there are no job uh, jobs in this job queue Similarly, I'll write uh, like uh, queue batch. So same way, there are no jo uh, jobs submitted inside this job queue. Queue enter. So this work active job is a very powerful command that can be used in AS400, and it is uh, mostly used by uh, the admin admin department in the AS400 industry. And uh, you can uh, hold the job queue. You can change the job queue for certain jobs that are submitted inside a job. So these are some of the basic things that you can do with the work active job command and these are the details that the work active job screen shows to us. So if you still have any doubts regarding the work active job command you can write in the comment section I'll try to solve it.